huge too much of manpower. You know, it, it, these are Parkinson's law. The work expands to keep the people engaged. It should not happen. That is one thing. The other is, why are we hesitant to revise the fares? We, we have no right to give free service like this. After all, if you are giving free service, you are touch, touching somebody else to fund that free service here. When Mr. Trivedi was <coughs> the railway minister, he had taken, the moment he became railway minister, he called some of the retired railway officers and wanted to give him some suggestions. One of the suggestions at that time was, we have to revise the passenger fares, particularly the royal level. Every time they revise the air condition fares, with the result all the air conditioned passengers are going to, going to the airways now. But lawyer level, there's plenty of scope. I've seen that the fare for traveling from Shorno to Calicut, Mohan, I remember, I remember, from Shorno to Calicut by train is hardly 600 rupees or something. The best charge is 40 rupees. Why can't we increase the fares? Reduce the strength, bloated organization, starting from the railway board, the railway government has about 2,000 people, there's no need, not more than 500 people are really required. I've been a member of the railway board, you know what is required. You have to reduce the manpower, increase the fares, and then bring in new systems. Decision making should be fast, most important. We cannot take one year or one and a half years to give a decision. The work culture has to change. Basically, the work culture has to change. If you want to turn around the rentals. 